Hey guys, this is Luke Sievers with One Nine Productions. We offer services with music production, graphic design, and website development. Uh, but we've got another video tutorial for you today. We're going to be talking about how to point your Namecheap domain to your GoDaddy hosting. So that's basically if you have purchased your domain name through Namecheap, but also have a hosting account through GoDaddy. Now, I prefer to do it this way, actually. Um, because Namecheap has some great prices for their domains. Um, they're typically only about $10.69, whereas GoDaddy, you know, you pay a little cheaper the first year, $9.99 or something like that, but then after that, every year after that, it's $14.99. So I choose to just go with the more consistent price every year. Um, but here we go. Now the first thing you want to do is go to log into your GoDaddy account. So once you're here at my account, you want to go to your web hosting, click manage. So then from here, what you want to go to is add on domains under the domain section. So now uh, what you're going to do is type in the domain that you've already purchased through Namecheap in here. So I'll fill in the rest for you. Click Add Domain. All right, looks like it's been created. So next, uh, click Home, so it'll take you back to where you were before. Now we're going to go down to the DNS Manager right here, and then you have to find uh, the domain that you just added. So here's mine right here, and click the Edit Zone button. You want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. So then down here, where it says NS for name server, under points two, there'll be two little strings of text. So we're actually going to be copying and pasting those. It'll say something like whatever.domaincontrol.com or something like that. Um, so now we want to switch over and go to namecheap.com and make sure you're logged in. Go to the dashboard. Number of domains in your account. We're going to view those select the one that we're going to be pointing over there. Now in the left hand column we're going to be clicking the tab that says transfer DNS to web host. So then you'll have um, one, two, three, four, five. We're actually just going to be using number one and number two and we're going to be pasting those two strings of text into that. Click Save Changes. Make sure there are no unnecessary spaces. So one thing to keep in mind is it actually tells you here that it could take up to 24 hours for the changes to take effect. Now I find that usually it doesn't take nearly that long. Sometimes it even happens right away. It just depends. Um, but we're going to go over here now and check on our domain name. So we'll type it in here. Okay, so I got this message, and actually that's a good thing. Uh, that probably means that it worked. But a kind of a more sure way that I use to kind of figure out if it worked is we're going to go actually install WordPress on my domain. So we'll go down here, click the WordPress application. Click on install this application. We'll click this drop down menu and find the domain that we're trying to install it on. And I'm going to leave most of these options the same. Click install. So now if we scroll down here, we'll find it. It looks like WordPress is installed. It looks like it'll probably upload the 2015 theme to it by default. So let's click refresh over here. Yep, so it looks like it worked. Now you can, of course, uh, go back and uninstall WordPress if you didn't want to have that on there. Um, but thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, also, if you have any other questions or if you have any other ideas for videos you'd like me to make in the future, feel free to mention in the comments below. 
and uh, subscribe as well if you want to get more videos like this in the future. Uh, again, thank you for watching, and don't forget to visit 19productions.com. Thanks.